me, my personal leadership story started at a young age. I grew up as the youngest child in a family of four. I had two sisters, one seven years older than me, another three, and then I also had a brother who was five years older. So in terms of leadership, I really looked to them. Um, for leadership my entire life really started at a really young age. And as long as I can remember, I was a follower. I was a follower looking to see how they acted the way they carried themselves, how they handled different situations and just their temperament. Um, I really looked at them as role models and I continue to look at them as role models see how I continue to grow up. Um, along with them, my parents obviously have had a huge influence on my life. Just giving me advice and tips that really continue to earn you today. I'll stick to them. They've always been there. Thank you for that guidance and advice. I would say the biggest non-family influence growing up for me in terms of leadership and in how to act and what a leader looked like just in general was um, through sports and even that was a real family affair. All my older siblings played sports so naturally I spent the weekends starting at a younger age um, in gyms or at the ball field taking along with them and my parents and watching them at their tournaments and eventually I started playing myself around third grade and continued playing uh, basketball, football, and baseball until I graduated from high school. The thing I really like about sports is it's a great way to build leadership and camaraderie within a, within a person and a team. You really learn what the lessons are just about life in general. Um, you learn how to win and lose, act with character, and respond with adversity as a team. You kind of work together and get over the hump. Sports really ended up being a great way for me to develop uh, my own leadership style and what I wanted that to look like, um, especially just from all the different coaches that I had growing up. A lot of them had different um, leadership styles that they used. I've had kind of progressive coaches who used a more in-your-face approach to get the best out of their team and their players, but also those relaxed, encouraging coaches who build you up. Um, use that build you up attitude to kind of get the best out of you and push you forward to get you to improve and uh, and just work in the way that they are looking for. Um, those different coaches that I had, especially in high school, really important to on me, and through them I was able to develop what I thought was the right combination needed to be a good leader. Um, so I really have used those different styles today when I lead groups or even when I coach players, um, which we'll get into a little later. Personally, I became more of a vocal leader in regards to sports when I went to high school. I was a quarterback for the football team um, specifically, so I really needed to serve as an example and be in charge because I was uh, the head of the offense and in control of the huddle. I took on the responsibility of making sure all the guys knew what their jobs were and just motivating them to have all of us play more with the best ability. The thing I like most about the sport, just in general, was just really about working together towards the common goal. I think that's important to remember in any sort of leadership situation um, going forward for me is that when you're leading a team or you're working and leading a group, it really is about the common goal and that's kind of what I learned most about um, playing sports in high school. For me in high school and even just in grade school, everything was really about sports. So making the transition to college was a little difficult. Uh, for me, cause I gave up on playing sports and decided to go to college and just do school. Uh, community was a big jump for me because even though I went to high school in St. Paul and was from the area, I was nervous about the size because I was coming from a small Catholic school of about 1,300 kids with around 350 kids in my graduating class and was now um, going to a huge college. So it was just going to be a big jump for me. You know, originally, I was just nervous kind of about the size and mostly just finding a good group of friends um, to to be lifelong friends with, but that really changed kind of during Welcome Week. But my, uh, my my Welcome Week leader Spencer convinced me to come check out his fraternity, which I reluctantly agreed to do, not ever really thinking that I would actually join one. But after checking it out, I decided that was really going to be a great fit for me potentially, um, and it really was. In Pike, I found that close group of friends um, that I was looking for, um, and that they were going to be my friends for the rest of life. Going into college, I was partly nervous I was going to be kind of go that easy route of just being friends with and hanging out with all the kids that came from my high school or kids I knew growing up and just not really branching out. But life was great for me to get to know kids from all over the state and even the Midwest. Um, it's really been one of the best decisions of my life and that's not just based off of all the friends that I've made but also all the ways I've been able to 
develop as a person and specifically as a leader. The great thing about Pike is that it gives you a lot of different opportunities to hold different positions in the house and freshman year I got my feet wet a little bit joining different chairmen's committees on things such as social, athletics, and philanthropy. This was a really great way for me to see how things ran around the house and all the different things that we were doing um, as a chapter at the university. Sophomore year, um, I decided I took a big step and ran for the brotherhood chair position, and I actually got it. Um, what brotherhood really does, just to explain, is that it uh, plans events for all the guys that are in the house just to do together, whether that be going to a Twins game, Timberwolves game, um, organizing bowling or going paintballing or even just a poker night at the house. It was my job to plan all these different events and, and uh, just plan a good job. Besides that, I just really wanted to leave my mark in the fraternity and, and, this, and the job. So I created a mentorship program similar to the leadership program I was involved with in high school as a senior, which was called Link Crew. Um, it's essentially just the same thing as Link Crew, which was um, really about pairing new freshmen or new members into the fraternity uh, with older members who then showed them the ropes on transitioning to college, learning how to study, picking a major, just the different nuances of being a new college student and, and transitioning to fraternity as well. Um, besides just being a mentor for them, just giving someone those lifelong friends and um, a guide to help them through college. The program was a huge success and we still use it today and it continues to grow. I gained a lot from being the chair and it really has had a huge effect on my leadership style. I learned that it's tough and there's some challenges when it comes to being the boss and in charge um, when you're leading a group, especially filled with friends and peers. It's a little difficult learning to tell your friends what to do and what you need from them and what you're expecting without coming off bossy, but getting over that hump was a huge experience for me and a big milestone and I think it ended up being very beneficial for me um, as a softer spoken person. Joining Pike was probably one of the greatest decisions I made um, in terms of personal development. I um, asked me a lot of great friends, but just kind of the leadership um, roles I've taken from it is stuff that I'm going to carry on for the rest of my life, um, whether it be in jobs or volunteering for organizations and such. So while I'm still on my personal development journey, um, my family, sports, and Pike have really been the key three things that have really guided me and made me into the person that I really am today.